And today's video, we'll be going over the whole Gaiden event and asking the question, should you buy this event? So let's get right into it. So of course, with the new event, we got ourselves a new prize tracker, which you get access to a few skin, which is completely separate from the thematic event overall. You get yourself also a 30-30 skin, which is pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie, it's got a really nice design. And also we got ourselves a cute little charm. It's kind of like a rabbit doing like kind of a kamehameha, if that makes any sense. And of course you get some other stuff too, which is some XP and some other things. And also a background screen, which you can see right here, which actually is supposed to be like an anime theme, which I honestly think this looks really, really sick. So now that you know what's on the prize tracker, let's go over this event. Now this whole event is anime themed and I'm going to point out the references for you guys too when we go over this. And I also will be teaching a way to save yourself some money if you are going to buy this whole event. Now there aren't that many good skins for some characters which is kind of unfortunate but uh hopefully we'll get some more anime skins in the future so let's go over the first skin for the event which is of course going to be that watson skin which of course got that naruto theme to it and i absolutely love this skin this skin just looks so good they dropped the trailer with her in, in it recently it's like today like they dropped the trailer the same day they dropped the event usually they drop the trailer earlier but honestly it looks great and honestly this skin just looks amazing now, of course, we got ourselves access to the new Mirage skin, which has got my My Hero skin theme to it. We're like, uh, what is it called? Izuka? Deku? Deku. That's what it is. Deku. He's got that Deku theme, which honestly, I think this turned out really, really nice. I might even snag this because like I sometimes play Mirage. I kind of want to just have this skin because Mirage is just a fun character. And I honestly just love how this looks. Next, we of course got a Revenant skin. I don't know the exact reference to this. This could be Girl Login, but also could be something else. I don't remember where this is exactly from, but honestly, this this is one of the best Revenant skins by far we've seen in an event recently. I absolutely love the look to this. Next, of course, got the Octane skin, which has got that One Piece vibe. Of course, they changed the straw hat on this because usually it's like orange or something like that. But they actually changed it for some copyright reason issues because I know the company has been going after other people's stuff if they do something similar to the anime works they own. So I think they kind of ruined the actual skin with the hat. But honestly, I think the skin looks still really, really good though, nonetheless. Now, of course, got an evil. 8 skin i am so confused on what's going on with this skin this skin looks like so weird with the front i think the barrel looks pretty nice and the handle and stuff but i do not know what's going on with the front with this thing i think it would be like a pump shotgun or something i don't think the front looks good at all but honestly this is still a decent skin next we got ourselves the new wingman hit skin of course it's got the my hero vibe it doesn't have to pay the wind sight on it by the looks of it which is kind of unfortunate because if it did it would have been so good to go with this skin I honestly think this skin's really nice. There's a lot going on with it, but it isn't in a bad way because sometimes they add too many colors and kind of ruin the skin, but I think this one's just fine. Now we got a charge rifle skin, which honestly, this skin looks so freaking fire. Like, I'm not a huge fan of the eyeball look in the front of it, but honestly, the side and stuff like that with the gold and Japanese on it looks so freaking good. Now, of course, got the fire flatline skin, which of course got the revenant vibe to it. And honestly, this flatline skin just looks absolutely amazing. Uh, this does not have the pay the win sight on it, unfortunately, by the looks of it, because if it was, that'd be amazing, and honestly, I would buy it so fast. But unfortunately, that is not the case with this Flatland skin, but this skin is still freaking fire. Now, of course, we got the new Seer skin, too. It's kind of got that, like, epic look to it, but at the same time, it's kind of got that anime vibe to it. I don't know what the exact anime reference for this is. It could be JoJo or something, but I'm not too entirely sure. I think this skin's pretty nice, though. And now, we, of course, got the new Bloodhound skin, which has got that Tokyo Ghoul reference. And honestly, I absolutely love this Bloodhound skin. I am buying it right now just because this is just a fire Bloodhound skin. And you cannot tell me you're not an anime fan if you do not like Tokyo Ghoul. So, I'm absolutely going to grab this over like any legendary skin have right now because like this thing it just looks so good because you got the uh what is it called kagane yeah kagane the, the, it's got the back of the kagane which is pretty cool and i think that just looks super super fire next we of course got ourselves a uh, sailor moon bangler skin which honestly i'm not a huge fan of this skin to be quite honest with you like it does not match bangalore at all i think it's still a really cool skin but it's definitely not exactly the perfect sailor moon skin honestly i could probably throw this on watson had two watson skins at this event and i think everyone would have been fine with it now we got of course the dragon ball z Go goku skin not goku skin uh <laughs> crypto skin i literally got the two confused because literally this is the first thing i think of as soon as i see the skin is goku but honestly this skin looks pretty nice i love the look of it, it looks like he's going super which honestly is so freaking good and i think honestly the backs of this skin is pretty nice too they didn't really do too much with it but yeah if you already have the crypto hair them i think this skin is gonna go really good with it 
Now, of course, the rest of it, you're going to have a bunch of like sprays and hollow sprays and stuff like that. Nothing too fancy. Of course, God, today we battle. We got ourselves meet me under the stars. I will become stronger, which honestly, that DBZ reference goes hard there. And champion of justice, which honestly looks kind of cringe, but I guess it works. Now, of course, got some new poses. This is my hero pose from Raj. We got ourselves a new actual Watson pose, which is supposed to be the Naruto reference. And of course, we got ourselves a Revenant pose, which is pretty cool. And also the Octane one for that Luffy one, which honestly, I think this all looks really nice. And of course, we got some new banners that go along with them, which there isn't really too much to be said about these banners. I think honestly, they all look great. But I think definitely where this event's going to be at is going to be mostly at the actual skins and stuff. Like the trackers and banners are not as fire as the most recent event we had where the trackers and banners were fire, where the Unshackled. The Unshackled event had a lot of really good trackers and banners, but... That's unfortunately not the case with this skin. With this skin, like everything's at the top. So honestly, I'm fine with that though. I'm, ha I'm happier to have better skins than better trackers and banners. And I think we can all agree on that one. Now, of course, we got ourselves the best part of this event, which is, of course, the new Bangalore skin. So if you are a Bangalore main, this prestige skin is absolutely amazing. No, I cannot see myself grabbing this skin because I do not main Bangalore. And I cannot reason with myself to spend $160 to actually buy this skin. However, I will say this. If we do get a Rafe skin, I'm about to cop it because I have the kunai and everything. So I cannot wait for that prestige skin. But if you're a Bangalore main and you want this, I would honestly just buy out this whole event. Like, I thought originally the Valkyrie heirloom was going to be a part of this event and i was like if that is the case that would be the best scenario possible but unfortunately that wasn't the case but uh still nonetheless if you guys are going to cop something this event i would definitely recommend just grabbing something that you know you want like maybe like for example here how i got the bloodhound skin i just got the bloodhound skin or something that you know you really really want now for the special offers you can grab yourself actually a 10 pack deal with the mirage skin and also a five pack deal with actually a charge rifle skin from the event meaning that if you want to actually save yourself some money from this event you want to grab these two deals and now i'm going to teach you a method on how to save yourself some money to buy the whole event first thing you are going to need to do is pretty straightforward is use as much as you're crafting to craft as many purples as possible now that you've done that what you want to do is use ea play and get yourself 10 percent off all apex coins now with this you'll actually save yourself quite a bit of money recently i saved myself over 30 dollars from the last event by doing this and on top of that having the crafting materials already crafting the epics i grabbed these two deals and that actually helps you a lot because then you'll have two skins knocked down you get 10 15 packs which those 15 packs of course can give you 15 items which can be very useful and the rest of them you just buy with how many packs you need to actually buy so you're most likely going to have to spend somewhere around $40, which of course is going to be decreased, be 36 And of course, you'll probably have to grab yourself maybe 100 But even off that, it's going to be like $89 or $90. I should recorrect myself on that one because I forgot the 99 cents. With that, you'll probably save yourself over $20 to $30. And also, depending on how much your crafting materials, you might even save more. Now, the question is, do you agree or disagree with me? Do you think this event is actually worth buying? Now, let me know in the comments down below. And also, let me know which of these skins do you think is the best skin from this event. For me, I got to definitely say the Bloodhound skin because you cannot tell me that tokyo ghoul reference is not good enough but uh yeah if you did enjoy my video today today make sure to smash the like button get subscribed and don't forget to check out us on twitch we do stream that course every monday wednesday friday link down below to our twitch channel until then g-man out